Welcome to ClickView Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Good. I'm a solutions architect here at ClickTech. In this video, we're going to review adjusting chart properties. Here we have a ClickView application that we created in some previous videos. We have some objects on the left hand side list boxes, current selection boxes, search box. And on the right hand side, we have this chart that we've uh, created. Now, the chart does work, uh, however, the formatting maybe isn't quite what we want. So we'll just review different ways of adjusting this chart. So to access the chart properties, uh, all you do is you right click on any chart and then just go to properties. And this properties windows comes up here. What I like to do is put it off to the side so I can see my chart while I'm adjusting my chart properties. The first thing we're going to do is sort the uh, dimensions. So we can go here to the sort tab and then we can click on the Y axis sort. We'll accept the descending order as the default and then we can simply hit apply. You'll notice that the chart updates right away. Uh, we can also adjust the style of the chart. So we'll click on the style tab here. And maybe we'll change the visuals slightly to make it a little bit more three-dimensional. And we'll also put the, uh, the orientation of the chart to horizontal. And we can click Apply. And you can see how the chart updates again. On the Presentation tab here, we notice that there's a, there's a lot of data here. And maybe we'll want to limit it down to perhaps the top eight items. But we still want to remove everything else. We still want to have the other uh, items available. But we'll just display the top eight and allow people to scroll. So we'll enable x-axis scrolling, and then we'll just select 8 here. And in this case, we're going to hit OK so I can show you how that works. So now you can see we now have the ability to scroll up and down on the chart. Right-click again, click on Properties, go back into the Chart Properties. Uh, the numbers down here at the bottom, they're quite large. Uh, so we can, uh, we can adjust the numbers. So we'll click on the Numbers tab. And uh, we're going to change this to Money, because we, we know it's Sales, which is Money. And then we'll also add a symbol in here. So we'll put Dollars, and maybe we'll put Dollars space K for Thousands, Dollars space M for Millions. And let's be optimistic, we'll put Dollars space B for Billions. We'll hit Apply. And you see here, now we can see that we're looking at hundreds of thousands. So there's the indication down here. It makes it a little easier to read. Uh, we may also want to make it easier to line up um, where each bar is at. So we can go to our axes here, click Show Grid Lines, and then Apply, and that brings in the major grid lines. And then we can also bring in minor grid lines as well. Finally, if we do want to adjust the, the chart so it can actually become a completely different type of chart, we can do that in the Fast Change type. So here in the Fast Change type, we can select Bar Chart, and we'll select Straight Table. And then when we hit OK here, you'll notice a new icon appears in the top right here in the uh, caption. If I activate this icon, I'm now going to change my chart from being a bar chart to being a straight table. So then now it's a straight table. And now it's back to a bar chart. So that's a quick summary of the various chart uh, properties you can adjust. As you can see from the number of tabs of, uh, on the chart properties, there are a whole lot more, and I encourage you to explore those. You can also uh, consult uh, Click Community for more information, as well as our expert services and ClickView partners uh, for detailed expert information. Thank you very much.